you know, L3 has been in Salt Lake in some form for more than 30 years. One year ago this week, a merger made them L3 Harris, one of the biggest defense contractors in America. If you drive on I-215 by the airport, you'll see their buildings, but ask for details and you get a lot of this. Yeah, okay. Can't answer that. A lot of secrets at L3 Harris, but it's all about communications. So really anything you see on unmanned air vehicles, satellite communications, soldiers on the ground, and the equipment that they use to communicate in the battlefield is what we specialize in. Aurora Taylor Rojas is the vice president of engineering at L3 Harris's Utah operation, a role she never envisioned as a girl. So I was born in Durango. Born in Mexico and raised all over. We lived in Durango, we lived in Chihuahua, we lived in Mexico City, and we lived in Guadalajara. And then Provo, where her single mom worked as a translator. Taylor Rojas went to the U and started with what is now L3 Harris as a student intern in 1994. Now she leads a team of 1,300 engineers, soon to be 1,500. We hired over 200 engineers last year, and we're on track to hire over 200 engineers this year, so we have a lot of opportunities. It's highly skilled, highly paid work. Anyone that is interested in huge growth, technology, um, and the products that, that, that we provide, right, the, the services that we provide are essential right now uh, for our military men and women. So it's a very, very exciting place to work. You heard that word essential? They couldn't stop for a pandemic. I think within a week, had over 60% of our workforce, that's the 3,500 employees, working from home at some level. Of course, manufacturing happens here. This giant new building will soon be a new factory. And secret stuff can't go home, so they take serious and seriously high-tech precautions. We all take a survey every single morning, get temperature checked every single morning. And then they get to work, designing and making... Uh, what does that secret thing do? <laughs> yeah, nice try. <laughs> nice try, Max. Yeah, they weren't going to tell me anything. Anyway, something that they have made that is not classified. When the University of Utah Center for Medical Innovation designed a respirator system for health workers during the coronavirus pandemic, L3 employees volunteered to set up an assembly line, and they manufactured hundreds of them. Live in the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.